Yo, what to do, YouTube? It's your boy, Coach Talk. We're back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about James Robinson, former Jacksonville Jaguar, former New York Jet, is paid a visit to the Indianapolis Colts. Now, the Colts know this guy very well. I think this guy had a good two-year run, but he's been battling injuries for a while now. But I will not be opposed to the decision of bringing him in to Indianapolis. Maybe it can be a practice squad spot or just a full roster spot. The Colts currently are going through a running back turmoil right now with this whole Jonathan Taylor situation. So if it doesn't seem to work out, I wouldn't be opposed to bringing this guy in. I did like his game at the beginning when he first got on the scene in the NFL. Now, of course, this is going to rub some Colts fans the wrong way because he was a Jaguar. But I do like his run style, and I think it can be competent to the Shane Spiking offense. I'm not going out there and saying he's going to be top five running back. But I'm thinking of production-wise. I think his production could be decent to pair with an Anthony Richardson. You see what he's done for Trevor Lawrence. But adding him into the running back room with an Evan Hall or a Jake Funk, a Jake Funk who I love dearly, even though he's on the practice squad. Adding him to a running back room with an Evan Hall, a Deion Jackson, and a banged-up Zach Moss, and who we don't know if he's even going to play week one. I think James Robinson could be a good production running back, a good value running back in this system of what we got going on. He can catch out the backfield a little bit, and he's a good runner. He runs hard, man. He's a good runner, too. So I think when we go in these situations where we talk about, oh, what if Jonathan Taylor was healthy? What can he do with an Anthony Richardson? You can kind of do the same predicament with this guy and James Robinson. James Robinson has some breakout games against his first year was like against Tennessee, against Cleveland. Like those were some games he was like, okay, he's here. Like he stepped on the scene and made some big moments. And he had like a good two years when he could just, you know, find the end zone. And he was a good fantasy running back for a little bit too. So I do, you know, if you're a fantasy owner and James Robinson happens to hit the roster, especially with the Colts, who I think could be potentially run heavy, even though I know they're going to throw the ball a lot with Anthony Richardson. I think he can be a good value towards this offense and this system if the Colts were to pick him up. Now, I'm just saying, you know, this is a situation, like I said, with Zach Moss being questionable. I do like Evan Hall's game a lot, and we could use him and Deion Jackson, but I'm saying for, for a third-string running back, I'm not opposed to the decision in bringing him in. But, you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. But you guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Should the Colts pursue James Robinson? If not, who else should the Colts go get? There's a lot of running backs out there in the mix. Uh, there's still a Kareem Hunt situation going on. I know Colts fans are on the, on the, on the edge of their seats with that one. Like, mm, not really. Don't do that. But you guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section about this whole situation. This is Marcus. And until next time, you've been Culture Shock.